G'day on the Aussie Mudlark. Welcome back to London. Welcome back to the Thames. So with the sit on my shoulder, return of the um, traffic, the river traffic on the Thames, it's finally starting to reveal start to, some of those layers of lockdown mud are starting to get removed. So fingers crossed today we're going to um, just going to reveal some more of the history of this uh, beautiful old city. So knee pads, gum boots, it's time to get dirty. Well, I've only taken one step already and look from a pub. Anyone got a pub to do with this? What a shame it hasn't got a um, nice, what are these things are called? The lead a bit, nice old name on there. We'll be keeping that otherwise. But it is just fairly plain unfortunately. So I think that can stay there. Maybe someone else will have some use for it. When even the bricks are interesting. Owen. And South Water. Stow Bridge. C A N S. Oats and green. Part of a bottle stopper. Missing the top part there, unfortunately. Well, it looks like I'm in a little pin spot again. And here. And there. Like I said, these um, can be Tudor, Victorian, and onwards. But what I like is when I find pins, you know that there's age in the area. So it's a good spot to have a look around because sometimes you find some other really good items. Okay, I know it's just a pin. It's not just a pin, is it? Yeah. Look at that now. Can you see the head on that one? No, oh, I might have to pick it up. I might have to put a photo on later. So it's um it's been handmade. And it's been twisted, hand twisted around the top to form the head. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna focus properly, it's too small. I'll tell you what, I'll put a photo on and you can see the head on that. Okay, I've just come to a, a spot where it looks like there was an old wharf structure here. So again, looks like there's um there was activity here over a while, and if you see here, these are the chalk beds that they used to put down on the foreshore. Um, you can see it's it's just chalk. But they used to put that down so when the boats and barges um, came to shore, they could pull up and not sink in the mud. So I'm going to slow down, and this is a really good spot just to spend a bit of time. Okay, I just had a bit of a scrape around, moved a few things around in here, and in the black mud, if you look right there, I've just scratched out something round. What do we think that is? A coin, a tag, let's see. Oh, I can see something. Is that a lead seal, maybe? It's the size of a lead seal. A little lead bag seal, perhaps. Okay, let's go down to the river and wash it up. Sorry, 
lot about the new the noise. I'm under a train bridge. That's a, a lead seal, a little bag seal. It's got a, quite a bit of corrosion, so I'm gonna to have to try to get that off. Um, yeah, yeah, I'd say that is. What's that saying? It. Okay, sorry, I thought that was writing there. Um, a, A. There's two A's on it. And that, on it, well, that actually makes sense. Because if this was, Bit of a wharf there's obviously trade here if boats were pulling up and trading that is exactly what i'd hope to find somewhere like this that's good i like it when you can put a bit of history to it so it's 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 the seal the bag seal but you know why it was here bit of what, what I like to call old mud and have a look it's chock a block with old pipe pieces Let's Saying this is absolutely chock a block with history in this bit of mud here. A beautiful bit of old green glaze. I just turned over the piece here. starting to rain on me and a little pin spot and right in the middle of oh, the pins right there is another little twist um, little pin holder it was found a few weeks ago which is believed disputed but believed by many to actually have been how pins were were sold in groups, all tied up together in that one twist. Just modern beads. Yeah. Trash. What's that? Andrew Bentley, London. Look out there, London. 
the size of a mobile phone case, but it's definitely not a mobile phone case. Um, again, put in my bag. I'll research that one, see what Andrew Bentley Limited. Again, hiding under another rock is another item. So, um, it looks the size of part of a bullet shell. Just missing the tip and missing the base too by the look of it. Um, oh, where are we going? Just a minute. It's got writing on it. I wonder if you can see what that says. Okay, how good is this camera? I can't see it here. It's definitely got quite a bit of text on it. CAS or is it GAS? CAS. Oh, lots of numbers. But I'll tell you what, I'm going to clean that up. I'll post a photo and I'll see whether I can find anything out about it by the writing and the numbers on there. Now this, I believe, is a bullet. That's unfired, I believe. So that will be getting thrown out. Let's see what it is there. Has it got any writing on there? No. Okay, bad idea maybe. That's the HMS Belfast. Probably shouldn't be throwing bullets towards it. I'm certainly having a great day. There's so many cool little finds. Now that looks like a little button. It's got a little hook on the back. Is there anything on the front? I can't see. Unfortunately, it doesn't appear to be. That's a shame. I'd love to find an old military button. I'll keep going. I'll get there one day. It is a cool old button, though. Over rock. Now I'd call them prawns. Or if they're freshwater, they'd be abbeys. But I think America and England you call them shrimp. All right. A little bit of saltwater shrimp. <laughs> I'll leave you like leave you yabbies alone, or shrimps, or prawns, or whatever you're called. And over here, that looks like a tube, toothpaste. Top of a toothpaste, old toothpaste tube. Um, what's that say on it? It's hard to try to look through the camera and see what it is. Um, that way? Or under or, so. Or, I can't read that. O R U N D. What's that? Is it a B? Borund. Okay, again, research. Now, I'm not an archaeologist. You know what? I didn't even do history in school. I was forced to do maths and science, unfortunately, and not the stuff that I liked. So, this is my chance now. I get down the river. I might not know what everything is when I find it. 
but it fascinates me so much and I love just then looking into it, trying to find out. like a modern one or two P I imagine you can tell but look at see how it's corroding is it yeah see the modern coins they're made of um, composite materials there's a the sun there we go and look what's happened to that now that's not very old it's 20 years old or something but there's just gonna be nothing left of it soon it's just gonna I think yeah such a shame that in 50 years this will just be real one to be gone and there'll be nothing for people to find it and some of these modern pennies and yet another button what's this gonna have it's broken on the, hip, on the back um, oh, that's pretty can you see that it's not riding but it's got a lovely pattern to the front of it It'll look nice cleaned up Brass. Let's see. Yeah, modern, modern and corroding. Looks like we've just found two horseshoes. Now, horseshoe just on its own isn't like an amazing find, but when you think, how long ago were horses? in central London. Anyway, I thought my finds were over for the day and I was just looking at this um, piece of pottery and as I was looking down here over here I've just seen that that looks incredible wow oh wow that that's that's really good what could that be? That's part of a um, I'd say that's part of a bracelet where the chain would have gone either side, and that's always left in the middle. Now I can't see if there's stones there. Sorry, I'm trying. I was looking off the camera. I can't see if there's stones or whether it's just gold, gold plated. But um, that is really nice. I'm actually going to go down. Oh, I can't get to the water. Um. Okay, I'll put that in my pouch. I'll go, I know where I can clean it. I see a waterfall. Back in a minute. Okay. Let's see if I can give this a bit of clean up. I've got to drop it because it's so fast flowing down here. I can't see much else to be honest. Doesn't look like there's any stones in it, but it's um definitely got character. It's got a lot of character. So I look forward to finding out a bit more about that one. <laughs> 